from Edgar Wright until he refused to get in line comes a movie based on a superhero so ridiculous you'll swear Marvel's choosing their projects on a dare. Ant-Man You've seen Marvel movies based on green giants, Norse gods, and these weirdos. Now get ready for a hero so silly no one can even keep a straight face when they say his dumb name. Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Is it too late to change the name? In this super-powered heist film that against all odds actually kind of works. I mean, it's still more believable than letting someone join the Avengers just because they're good with a bow and arrow, right? Meet Scott Lang. Say yes, Scott. Wait, nope, not that one. Yeah, that's the guy. A master thief who gets busted every time he tries to get away with anything. Hey, little guy. His life will change when he meets Hank Pym, the billionaire industrialist who lost control of his company to a bald former ally who betrays him and plots to use his advanced suit technology for evil. And if that sounds familiar, it's because it's the exact same premise as the first Iron Man movie. If it ain't broke. I mean, seriously, it even has that friend staring at the suit they'll wear in the sequel moment. Next time, baby. It's about damn time. Thrill at amazing visual effects that makes 70-year-old Michael Douglas look like 60-year-old Michael Douglas and has harmless locations pulse with epic danger like a briefcase, a toy train set, and Michael Pena's junk. Oh, I don't want to see this. In some of the most high-stakes fights between tiny people since Frodo vs. Gollum, proving Marvel still hasn't run out of ways for guys to punch each other in the face. Or in this movie's case, Sucker Punch. And now it's gonna blow up in your face. Oh, you okay? Did I hurt you? Oh, no. Show me. That's how you punch. Prepare for a movie that would be really stale without Paul Rudd doing Paul Rudd things. Because most of it is Hank Pym yammering on about some boring science crap. I use electromagnetic waves to stimulate their olfactory nerve center. I must retrieve this prototype of a signal decoy. I created a formula that altered atomic relative distance. Huh? She turned off her regulator and went subatomic. But separates itself from the other 11 MCU movies with a few unique twists, like making another schlubby comedian get abs for a superhero role, actually getting you to care about disgusting insect monsters. Anthony! No, not Anthony. Oh, man. I like that one because he had a name. And saying the one thing everyone's been yelling at the screen since Phase 2 started. I think our first move should be calling the Avengers. So strap in for the best micro movie since Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, as Marvel proves once again they can literally sell you anything, and they don't even have to try that hard to sell it. Ants. Ants. Ant-Man. Huh? Starring, I Love You, Matt, Tony Stark Sr., Wasp Machine, the only Latino in the MCU, T.I. as himself, and the biggest Avenger they could get, Thomas and the Mantjic Railroad, and disposable Marvel villain number nine, Tiny Iron Man. Man, after this one, I cannot imagine these movies getting any strange... Oh yeah, forgot about that. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Darth Jar Jar. Hello from the other side. Jingle balls and deck the halls. Triple Dent Gum will make you smile. Triple Dent Gum, it lasts for a while. I thought she was with you.